guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is alex and i'm a full-time retailer online i like to sell on places like poshmark macari ebay um etsy depop and i have an antique booth so in today's video i'm going to do the part two of the haul that i previously showed you in last week's video i think
let's just get into the haul. So, um, I have a mixture of things. Um, it's going to be a haul from like the last couple of weeks because I haven't um, been recording any videos. The videos that y'all have seen, I have already pre-recorded them. So um, this is going to be updated like in <laughs> real time now. Um, I think maybe I should have left this behind because it does have some damage, but I picked it up. It's this vintage clock. Um, I thought it was really cool and really pretty. It was, what does that say, $5.95? $5.95, but as you can see like down here um, in the corner, like right here and in other spots, it has like some peeling. Um, since this is faux wood, um, there's a few spots where it is peeling. I'm not sure if this is still working. I would have to put a battery in to check but the battery compartment does look pretty clean so i have a good feeling that it still works um and you know what this is upside down so this is how it's supposed to be um so yeah i'm not sure i got this not to sell online but to put it in my antique booth um we'll see we'll see what happens because it does have that damage i'm not sure how good it will do um um before i noticed that i think i was going to sell it maybe like the 30 to 40 dollar range but i guess we'll see what happens um so i picked up whoops these two wall sconces or candle holders um they are very mid-century modern just like the clock too um it has the mirror there and these are like in really great condition um very little wear um there's a few nicks here and there but nothing really major i had some other ones that were similar to this but they were all beat up and they didn't really do good so i think these would do a lot better because they're in great condition they were four dollars each which <clears throat> i do think is a little pricey here's the back um but I think I can get ugh, I think I can get maybe like $40 for them is what I'm hoping 30 to $40 let's see $4 each I paid eight yeah so probably closer to the $40 range I'm hoping um, and that I might try to sell those online but I'm thinking I'm gonna take them to my antique booth because I took out a lot of stuff and cleaned it out because um, I um, like I mentioned I was I had a garage sale the previous weekend and um, I just really needed to get rid of some stuff that were like bad buys when I first started so I cleaned out my antique booth um, and my Poshmark closets and everything got rid of some stuff uh, just because I got rid of or I got tired of having to share items that just got no attention no likes nothing and I got tired of having um stuff in my antique booth that was just sitting there well I can't really say if there was getting they were getting attention just because I I don't see it right but since um it didn't get sold and it's been almost a year since I've had that antique booth and items have still been in there I just don't want to keep it you know so I got rid of some stuff and I'm trying to make room and space for this new stuff that I'm bringing in so hopefully um these newer items are going to do a lot better <clears throat> um so I'm still picking up brass I have a weakness for it so I picked up these two um candlestick holders they are like little trumpets um they're two different sizes as you can tell and they were three dollars each it does say a random number raj made in india um in there and i thought these were cute it would be better if they came in a set of three um but i still picked these up i thought they were so cute um <clears throat> and i forgot that i had this over here actually i have it with my own decor so i picked up this vase and i thought it was so pretty it feels it looks like wood but it's not it's like um ceramic i guess um and it has like this really cool design in there it was three dollars it looks like the sticker under the price tag says something about made in peru so this one is vintage i don't 
this is yeah this is definitely about wood <laughs> so I thought this was really pretty I think I'm going to keep this one and use it for my home decor um, maybe I might sell it but for now I have it um, in my home decor <laughs> in my uh, entryway right here um, I did pick up a couple of bags so the first bag is uh, what is this brand um, spikes and sparrow which I think is Jack George's I think it was um, and it's this leather briefcase it does have like quite a few scratches on it um, like on this right here maybe I can buff that out or make it less noticeable but it does come with the strap the crossbody strap and it does have the little handles right here that tuck into the bag two handles um, it's a little dirty not the worst condition um and here it is on the inside and yeah so by jack george's here's the tag i think this was like five dollars so um i think the comps were around 30 to 40 dollars so I was hesitant on picking that up just because I wasn't sure. I think I picked up Jack George's in the past and it didn't do that well, but maybe this like briefcase um, computer bag would do better. I don't know. Um, and then I picked up this super gorgeous vintage um, faux fur coat. It's by the brand Terry Lewis. And I might have to insert a picture because it's just super large and I don't think I'm going to do it justice holding it up but it's basically like probably faux uh, like rabbit fur faux rabbit fur and it's so pretty um yeah I think I'm gonna insert a picture so as you can see it's long I think it probably does go past the knees um I guess maybe just depending on how tall you are um I think this was like ten dollars i want to say and i had it in my cart and someone <laughs> walked by and was like did you get a fur coat and i was like yes and they're like it's fabulous <laughs> and i was like i know um i don't think it gets super cold enough in texas to wear a fur coat at least in the dallas area i know these last couple of years we've had those winter storms so i guess maybe it might be good to have on hand but still like i think maybe this is for more like northern um weather but since it is faux fur it's not as thick or as like heavy as you would think it was so i don't know i tried it on and it was a great i loved it um and then i also found this awesome vintage i don't know someone i posted it on facebook and someone said it looks like an 80s bridesmaid dress but i'm i'm not sure the year but it has like this i'm gonna have to probably insert a picture too because i'm not gonna be able to hold it up it has like this high neck situation right here on the back like these ruffle um sheer collar and then like the sleeves are sheer and see-through and it has like the little pearl detail right there um it doesn't come with a belt unfortunately but it does have the belt loops um so someone could add their own belt um and it's definitely a maxi dress it's so pretty um i'm not sure if this was like handmade or what because it doesn't have it doesn't have a brand or a size i had to put measurements so hopefully it does good and it has like this little keyhole in the front it is really pretty someone um at the thrift store i guess was looking at it they had it out and it was like on top of the rack so i was like mm, what is that yellow uh thing so i pulled it down i was like yes i'm getting that um it's so pretty here are those random blue bottoms from the last video they were in a separate bag um and so i picked up this vintage rip curl um backpack it is like the surfer brand um this one is definitely vintage because it does say made in 
This is made in Taiwan on the inside. Um, I thought this was brand new in tags when I saw it because I saw this, but this one does have like a name filled out in pencil right there. And um, yeah, so I still ended up, I did sell this on Depop for 35, I think, which is pretty good. I think I paid like five or six dollars for that backpack. The dress was like seven dollars, I think. Um, and that one already sold. Then I got a fanny pack. I picked this up and the other fanny pack in the other video for um, my garage sale that I had and I didn't know which one I wanted to use. This one is a Fila one and it's really large. It has a lot of compartments, but I ended up using the Herschel one instead. And this one also has like a pocket on the back side of the fanny pack but I just think that this one was probably a little too large for what I needed so I think I'm going to end up selling this one just because I don't need um, both of the fanny packs and then the last two items in this uh, well actually let me get to the other bag So I picked up some more home decor um, and this one is a vase and it is like a ceramic vase that's made to look like teak wood. It's by the brand Storehouse. I was thinking that, I don't know what I was thinking when I got this. It clearly says made in China and it's more modern and I paid $4 for it but I still think it's really pretty. Um, I don't know even if I don't use it it does have a few nicks here and there um, I don't know why did I get this I was thinking that this was real wood but it's clearly not <laughs> but I got that maybe I can use it in my home or maybe I can sell it online uh, the original price was only $18 so I'm not sure oh uh, I picked up this vintage um, like baguette styled bag it is like a nude color like a nude beige color and it has um, like all of these rivets and on the strap and it's really pretty um, I'm not sure if this like this right here and this one is supposed to come with like a longer strap but this is by the brand Kenneth Cole and typically I don't pick up his um, usually anything by him but I did pick up those sunglasses in the last haul because they were vintage um, but this one is super thick leather and it's really great quality um, and here's the inside this is definitely like early 2000s um, bag it really reminds me of like um, Marc Jacobs or coach that's how thick the leather is I think I might keep this I don't know <laughs> I might keep this one and see um, if I can style it up because I really do like that one a lot um, and then I picked up this wallet can you guess the brand um, it's a metallic uh, gray color and it is by the brand hobo and actually the metallic part like on the inside I think this is like brand new yeah because the zippers are still wrapped but like something on the inside is like sticking or maybe it was like stored in the heat and like the leather is like really kind of sticky and it's almost like um, peeling and if you can see right here on the metallic part it's kind of like wearing by like closing it and like opening it but hopefully it still does sell I used to be able to sell these wallets for like 45 and 50 dollars um, a couple years ago um, and but not anymore I don't think here's the brands um, I don't know I have to do comps on this one I can't remember what this wallet was called but it's definitely a double kiss lock wallet um, Maybe I can still get like 30 bucks for it. And that one I paid like three to four dollars. Then I picked this one up. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one for myself to put inside like my bigger bag to keep um, my things in there so it doesn't get all over the place. Um, it's just like a little 
toiletry bag pretty much um it is leather and it is by the brand what is the brand talbots um so i didn't really pick this one up for reselling oh there's talbots i was looking at like you know louis vuitton has those that are canvas that are similar to this style um i can't the mini pochette or something and those are thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars coach has one that i was looking um into getting but um i think it was called the nolita but i think that one was still 50 to 100 dollars and i found this one at the thrift store for a dollar so i went ahead and grabbed this one and it came with this keychains but i don't think yeah this is not even part of it so good deal i think then i picked up this bag um i have actually came across this bag i don't know if it i think maybe it was in black at plato's closet for like 30 or 40 dollars uh, but this one was like five and it's also a vintage one it's a vintage michael kors bag and the leather is super thick and luxurious the inside is really clean and it has like that super thick um cotton lining and i'm sure everyone knows what the michael kors tag looks like but this one is like from the early 2000s um it's definitely <laughs> a lot better quality and thicker leather like the kenneth cole one that i showed y'all um but more thicker than the leather that they do now um something about their bags now were like they're super plasticky i don't really like a whole lot of michael kors bags anymore the only problem is that this is um starting to <laughs> rip right there but i think i was just going to try and get some purse cement and like glue it back together and um i don't need both of these bags the kenneth cole one and this one um but i really do like the color of both i might keep them both i might keep one i don't know um but i i love that bag and the kenneth cole one it's just really pretty um let's see then i picked up as i was about to leave i saw this on the rack and i was like let me go check it out and it was a carhartt vest so there is a carhartt i'm sure everyone knows what that looks like and it is this super thick um canvas i guess uh vest it's green um with like the blue um contrasting color up there it's pretty good condition honestly it looks like it's maybe worn a couple of times and on the inside it has like the puffer material it's a size medium it might fit um my husband or my son but i don't think <laughs> my son this is not his style and my husband probably would keep it but he doesn't need any more clothes so i think i'm gonna sell that one i'm not sure the comps but i know they have to be 40 plus at least right um i think this might be the last home decor i did pick up a couple of clothing pieces for myself um i don't have them with me but i picked up a couple of tank tops and like that um boho jumpsuit that everyone seems to be talking about um like the that keeps going around like on the facebook ads and like i keep seeing it on pinterest i ended up finding one by um target a target brand at the thrift store i think i spent a dollar on it so it was super super cheap um i was actually just watching a thrift haul that someone had picked these vintage whoa vintage brass um seashell book um bookends and i was like wow those are super cute and i literally just washed it like a day before i found these so i thought that was pretty funny they were a dollar 99 each which i don't understand why do they price uh bookends separately like who buys one bookend i just think that's so weird they should definitely price them together because they're literally one unit right but um they're super cool i really like them i'm not sure if i will keep these or sell these but i think these if i do sell them they should do pretty good um like online or even in the antique booth they would probably do pretty good because these are um 
something I think that people like to purchase. <laughs> um, and then I have three more things here. So I picked up this 100% um, full leather duffel. It comes with like the two straps at the top and it's super thick leather. It has like the shoulder strap or the crossbody strap. You could adjust it right here to have it be opened or to close it. And the crazy thing about this is that it was only $5.99 which is crazy because, you know, they price leather bags like really expensive, but maybe they priced it cheap because it does say like a dentist office name right there. Um, but I honestly don't even care because um, I got this for myself for whenever we traveled or whenever I needed it because I have, I have one. It's a Vera Bradley one. But you know, there are Bradley rips and tears easily, and I thought this one would be better. And it's still really nice, it's still really um, cute. And I think it might be missing a strap because it does have um, hooks right there. But yeah, I picked that one up for myself. And the last two items are designer items, um, which is crazy. I got to this thrift store. I got to this thrift store and there was quite a few people there. There there was like two or three people looking through the bags and I was like, oh, okay, let me see if I can find anything. I found um, a bag from a previous video in there and then I found, and then I came across this one. I almost wasn't gonna pick it up, but it's this little tiny mini bag um, and it is by the brand Mario Valentino. So I was thinking that this was you know, like the Valentino, like Valentino rock stud, like that Valentino, but it's not. <laughs> the other one is Garavanti Valentino or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but here is the Mario Valentino tag. It is still made in Italy. Um, it is still expensive and Nordstrom still sell it. It's still, it's like a couple hundred dollars, um, but the other Valentino is like, the big Valentino one. So I was still happy for finding it because I thought it was still super cute. Um, I thought about keeping it, but like, what am I gonna do with it? It's so tiny. Um, so I posted it for sale. I don't think I got any likes on it. So we'll see how this one does. Um, I was excited, then disappointed really fast. Uh, but this next one is a really good designer brand. Um, it is by Anine Bing. A mean being is the brand and it is like this super cute um, tote bag and it's like um, it has like the a B print all over it and um, it has like these leather like these little knots right there but they can be pulled through to be um, like these little leather straps like uh, top handles really cute it's leather trim and then it has I guess this could be a crossbody and it's removable um, and it's a canvas a super thick nice canvas as well and it has like the clip closure right there um, I paid like four dollars for this I didn't get that. Could you try again? Um, I paid like $4 for this, um, and I think when I looked it up, um, it was retailing $200, $250, and I think it's currently sold out, um, at least the places that I was looking when I was researching it, it was sold out. So being sold out is always a good thing because they have people have to go to the secondhand market to find um, this stuff. So I think I do have it priced at $200, which is, um, you know, like retail almost, but I've gotten like 20 likes on it, um, on Poshmark and a couple likes on Depop, a couple of watchers on, on eBay. So hopefully someone sends an offer or purchases it outright. That would be great too. Um, but yeah, that was everything in my haul um, that I have thrifted in the past couple of weeks. So let me know down in the comments what is your favorite thing that I thrifted. Um, my favorite thing that I thrifted, 
I don't know. I really do like these bags. I'm not sure if this one might be my favorite or if the two um, tan bags are gonna be my favorite, but I really do like the bags. Um, or the dress or the fur coat like I don't know this haul was pretty good um, for the last couple of weeks so just let me know what is your favorite item that I thrifted and if you're not already sus subscribed <laughs> please subscribe down below because I make lots of videos like these um, and I'll be having more upcoming videos thrift with me's um, more hauls maybe some how to's on Poshmark or maybe I'll do um, an antique booth here um, soon like a refresh since i have to restock so yeah just um don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment down below and i'll see you on the next video bye guys